Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about LinkedIn and how you can leverage it as a graphic designer, a web designer, or a marketing agency to make you millions of dollars. Yes, millions with an M. It is a huge deal if you're not using LinkedIn. It is a fabulous tool, and after so many requests, I wanted to make a video about it. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so LinkedIn. Man, I cannot say enough good things about LinkedIn. This platform has really transformed and changed over the last decade from what it used to be to what it is today. Uh, I was talking recently with a friend of mine and we talked about how Facebook is like the, the hangout, kickback party of social media and LinkedIn is the networking group or the networking event. They're all like events, right? If you think about it that way. And LinkedIn is the networking, business networking event that happens online. So many, many business owners that have high influence, high net worth are on LinkedIn. And if you're not using it, you've been missing out and now is your chance. But many of you are probably very confused about LinkedIn of how it works and what you should do. So I'm gonna cover a few things today to help you guys really understand LinkedIn, the power of it and the potential and what to do and what not to do. Because there are a lot of people that are using LinkedIn and they're using it improperly and taking advantage of the system and really burning a lot of bridges with people before they even get the chance. So I wanna make sure that you understand some of the best practices and we're gonna get into that right now. So let's go ahead and head over to my screen. All right, so LinkedIn, we'll just go here to my, my profile. And if you're looking at LinkedIn, this is basically how it looks when you log in. This is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see your posts, you can upload photos, videos, and you can even write an article. Writing an article is a really good way to get exposure. I don't do enough of this myself. This is not an area of expertise that I have in terms of writing articles on LinkedIn, but I know that they do have great reach, and especially if you have a ton of connections on LinkedIn. But that is what I wanna start with first, is your connections and connections are a very important part of it so if i look at my network here these are people that have requested to be part of my community okay i have 5986 contacts in linkedin total but i have 2861 con connections these are actual people that have connected with me on linkedin this is a really big deal this is almost 3,000 people that have chosen to accept my request and accept my connection request that I now have connections to that I can actually export that database and market to these people. Well, for me, I, I take the standard principle of wanting to offer value to every single one of my connections and everybody that I'm trying to build relationships with. Now, obviously, the way my agency and the way my companies are set up is I could never service 2,861 clients, but out of this select few, I want to find at most my 100 dream clients, and that's really even more than I want, but I'm looking for 100 dream clients that I can have a long-term relationship with that will support my business and I can support their business and offer value to what they're doing, and in return, they can help me grow my business by paying me for my services and, and paying me fairly, and, and it's fair for myself and for them. So I have 2,861 connections, and as you can see here, currently it says I have 22 messages that I haven't even read. This is a big deal. And then you got your notifications similar to Facebook. So you can see here people that have viewed my profile, people that have followed me. These are some just different people. These are just examples of what you can pull on there. But I did not actually do all of this work myself. I am so busy with Facebook, with running clients, uh, advertising campaigns, doing marketing strategies, on phone calls all day long. There's no way that I could have done all of this by myself. So if you know from maybe some of my previous videos, I've talked about LinkedIn and from the sense of the, some of the tools that we have available to us. And look at, there's a message popping up right there. And if you look at that, this is, this is a message that automatically is being sent out to all of my LinkedIn connections. Now, I will preface this. I didn't have it do all of them at once because I was doing a beta test to see how my messaging was working. But I crafted a message, which is this. It says, hey, Cleve, can, I, can you help me? I've been pumping out three high quality marketing videos per week on my YouTube channel, and I think you'll love. Will you take 30 seconds to subscribe to my channel? Here's the URL. It's blah, 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 okay? It would mean a lot to me. I'll definitely subscribe back. So this is a message I've now sent out, and I'm gonna show you how that all works. So let's hop over to Lead Butler Connect. Lead Butler Connect is a tool that my partner and I built. Um, I didn't do all the development or any of the design, but my partner did. And what this does is, and you can see here, over the last 24 hours, over the last 72 hours, or after the last week, 
Over the last month, I've sent out 312 total connection requests, which is not very many. And I've actually connected with a hundred of them. So a third of them are actually connected with me. That's because the messaging and the way that we've structured our stuff is very, very genuine. I'm not trying to just connect with everybody and their mom for no reason, just to build up a bunch of connections. I want to connect with the right kind of people who are actually going to engage with me. So if you look at that, you can see that six people replied to my initial connection message and a total of 21 replied to my other message that went after the connection message. So that's a total of 27 people out of a hundred. That's nearly, it's a little bit over 25% message rate from the initial connections. I got a 30% connection right here, and I got a 25% connection right there. Those are really good numbers. That's where we should be, okay? Now, everything should be broken into your mind when it comes to LinkedIn is two different categories. Category A is the initial connections and building connections with potential people that could be doing business with you that you wanna build a relationship with their potential clients. And then side B, is actually the nurturing of all the 2,861 people that you saw that I'm connected with. How do I continue to stay top of mind and I continue to build a relationship with them and leverage, leverage those connections to help me grow my business? Well, one of the things that came to my mind over the weekend was I wanted to build a connection campaign or a, a messenger campaign, I should say, with my existing connections to help me grow my YouTube channel. Now I know I have almost 3,000 people on there and my goal is to reach 1,000 YouTube subscribers. So that's roughly one third. And from all the data that I've done so far, it should be pretty realistic to think that if with 3,000 connections, I should be able to get somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 to 1,000 people, which is gonna put me at the mark where I need to be and, and give me the momentum I need to be able to reach the YouTube audience that I'm trying to reach. Because my mission, again, is re reaching at-risk youth and helping restore broken families through that. So I'm going in here, I'm creating connection campaigns, meet, meeting new people. Then I'm also doing the nurturing side of things where I'm sending out a YouTube promo that you saw. Now within this YouTube promo, I picked, you'll see how many people, I picked 400, 541 people total to send connections or to send messages to. Uh, then out of those, 55% of them so far have been sent out, a total of 298. And out of those, 36 have actually replied back to me. Now, some of the people that actually replied back to me said, yep, I subscribed to you. Most of them said, I'll check it out. But I had so far, if you look at my YouTube channel, we'll go there right now. You can see as I'm going along here, pull this up, go to YouTube studio. You can find Andre Geek and Peter McKinnon are two of the top people that I follow. You can see here, and this doesn't look too great, but this has been fluctuating up and down for the last few days, but I'm actually at 163 uh, new subscribers. These aren't new, but these are total subscribers for this channel. Now, I know that's really small for many of you guys that have a lot of subscribers, but for me, I've added 36 in the last 28 days, and 23 of those, so I was at 140, I think, when all this started, have been ha happened in the last 48 hours. I've added 23 new subscribers to my YouTube channel. And I'm only just partway through that list. So by the time I get to all 3,000 almost of my connections, I should be between you know, 600 and 800 connections or subscribers realistically. So this is a really good way for me to be able to pump out content to my targeted audience. Now, everybody that I've been adding are targeted people that I want to have as connections, people who are attorneys, people who are contractors, things like that that are in the same niches and industries that I'm going after. So LinkedIn is a really great tool for that and it allows me to build up a lot of momentum. This person gave me a thumbs up. I'm sure that I'll at least check, click the link and check out the channel. So that's gonna be picked up by Google or in YouTube, which is a really great thing. So that's something I wanna help you with. I want you to leverage. Now, one of the things that I wanna talk to you about that is very important is how not to use LinkedIn, okay? Spamming people on LinkedIn, sending automated messages, for the most part can be a bad thing. But because I'm looking, I know who my audience is and I've strategically picked them, I'm, I'm sending out, yes, the same message to every single person and you can see here what that message looks like. Here are my steps. Hey, first name, can you help me? I've been pumping out three high quality marketing videos on my YouTube channel. I think you will love. Will you take 30 seconds to subscribe to my channel? It's HTTP YouTube.com. It would mean a lot to me and I'll definitely subscribe back. I genuinely mean that, okay? I know that if they watch these videos that I'm pumping out on LinkedIn and on marketing and on branding and on web design and all these different things I talk about, that they will learn and they will gain and they will get knowledge and they will be able to help grow their business through that. So what I'm offering them is not something I'm selling them anything, I'm not pitching them anything. I hardly do any pitching when it comes to any of my, my messaging on YouTube. And you can see here on LinkedIn. Now you can see here, if I go back to campaigns, you can see I have the connection connection campaigns and let's just use this one so we were actually promoting this software 
to an existing database or to a new database of people. And my business partner picked 1,500 people. Out of those 1,500 people, 149 of them connected to me. And then out of those, we had 19 that responded to the initial connection message that you get when you send the connection. And then 41. So we had a total of like almost 60, I think it's about 60 people that actually responded off of the 1,500. So really good stats, really good results. And I can click on this and you can see the messaging that we created in here. See, these are the people that I went after. You can see the steps. Hey, first name, hope you're having an incredible 2020. You've got a great background and we share some connections. Thought we should connect as well. Best, Adrian. I'm getting a huge connection rate off of this initial connection message. Thank you for connecting with me, first name. It's always exciting to grow here on LinkedIn with other professionals. Would you happen to have any referrals that I can send you your business? Or need any referrals I can send to your business? I'm always looking for ways to add value with my content here. And then again, if they don't respond, I'd actually love it if you could help me out with some feedback. I'm currently working with my team on a new SaaS software, which is this software, that helps professionals find prospects and increase sales. It's a slick system that has new killer components like engaging tra engagement tracking, CRM components, and a lot more. And I'm still in beta right now. So we're still in beta on this product, but we've gotten amazing results and the stats are right here for you to see. So 958 connection requests were sent, only 16% 16, uh, 16 actually connected, 13% actually responded to the first message, and 28% responded to that follow-up message. So the messaging is working. It looks like the connection campaign could be a little bit better. These numbers could go up. I don't, I don't claim to be the number one best LinkedIn organic marketing guy. I know that a lot of the, the data that we've acquired has really helped us create better connections and create more connections and get that connection rate up, but we're still perfecting that process and gathering data. But LinkedIn is a really good tool to do that. So you need to understand that the simpler you keep it, the more that your message is genuine, that the higher the connection rate is going to be. The more you try to fill it with bluff and fluff and hype and that kind of stuff, the lower that connection rate's gonna be. I say this all the time and I mean it. You need to go out there and serve people. Stop selling. It's so important. The more genuine your connection requests are and the more you spend time getting to know people, adding value to their lives, solving their problems, and truly caring about people, the more success you're gonna have in your business, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's Facebook, that is where true success from, comes from. It's not about the platform. LinkedIn is a fantastic tool with high net worth individuals, and, and it's harder to get people to engage with you because people are taking advantage of it. So the big things I want you to leave with today is you need to go out there and use a software that's gonna save you time to create your connections. And if you leave, uh, if you don't do a connection note along with it, that's okay. But you wanna make sure you send out connections and don't do more than 100 a day because you don't want LinkedIn to flag you. That's a really important deal. If you send more than 100 a day, you're gonna start getting, uh, you're gonna start getting filtered out. And you don't wanna do that. You need to, to fall under LinkedIn's protocol, right? And then number two is go out there and build genuine relationships with the people and then also stay top of mind. And if you need help and you wanna get onto the Link Lead Butler Connect software, I can help you do that. It's very affordable. There's a do-it-yourself plan. I can help you get through that whole process. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope this helps you understand LinkedIn a little bit better and the different aspects of it. I'm having incredible success. I'm getting appointments every single day off of LinkedIn that are just automatically adding right into my calendar and I can do the same thing to help you guys and there are ways that you can do that. So just give me a call. You can go to leadbutler.com or I'm sorry, leadbutler.io. That's the website. And I'd be happy to walk you through it anytime. So hope you guys have a blessed day. And as always, keep looking up.